Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about target type new expression of C sharp. We will learn what target type new expression in C sharp are and how to write it in a program. We will also discuss about its use case where we can use it. Finally, we will talk about some guidelines and limitations of it. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Target type new expression in C sharp 9.0. Let's first understand about target type. Target type means that the expression gets the type from the context it is used in. Okay, now see what target type new expressions are. With this, we actually do not require type specification for constructor when the type is known. This concept was introduced in C sharp 9.0 and it is available in later versions. Let's try to understand with the help of example. There is a class imply that has two properties, imply id and imply name. Default value is assigned for these two properties. Imply id has default value as 100. Imply name is having default value as Ravi. In this class, we have two constructors. One is default constructor and another is parameterized constructor in which two parameters id and names are passed and set these values to properties imply id and imply name. Before C sharp 9.0, whenever we go for creating the instance of imply class, we usually write something like this. Imply obj imply 1 is equal to new imply, imply obj imply 2 is equal to new imply 1 james. First one, it is for the default constructor and the second one for the parameterized constructor. In this way of instantiation, we usually write new keyword and then write type, this case imply class, right? If you notice, imply is written in left side as well as right side. Why it is required to write imply type both sides as it could take context from left side, right? So that's why C sub creator realized this and removed this repetition from right side that you can see here where imply is not written as it is not required in C sub 9.0 and later version that make our code more concise and clean. Okay, that's what we have written imply obj imply 1 is equal to new and then just need to give the parenthesis. Similarly, for parameterized constructor, imply obj imply 2 is equal to new, there is no imply and then we need to give the parenthesis, opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis and in between we need to provide this parameters. So here I have passed the value of 1 and James, right? But we cannot write something like this, where obj imply 1 is equal to new, where obj imply 2 is equal to new 1 James, right? If you see, Zigzag red line under the new keyword, it depicts some error and if you hover it, it will show you error and here if you see the error, there is no target type, right? So whenever we use where keyword in left side instead of type, we need to provide type at right hand side. Otherwise, we would end up with error because code needs to understand which type object it needs to create for, right? So we need to write something like this where obj imply 1 is equal to new imply and then we need to give the parenthesis right okay let's see all these things in action in visual studio okay so here we are on visual studio i have created one console application inside that we do have we have this program.cs file in program.cs file what i have done i have created one new class imply that has two properties imply id and imply name imply id has value 100 whereas imply name has value ravi as a default value and this is the default constructor public imply and this is the parameterized constructor imply where we are accepting two input parameters id and name and then we are setting these values to properties imply id is equal to id imply name is equal to name and there is a class program which we do have main method right and i have written this console dot write line statement that i'm going to print it because i'm just going to give the demo of the target type new expression right okay so before c sharp 9.0 we usually instantiate an object like this imply obj imply 1 is equal to new imply if you are targeting for default constructor right and if you are going to target parameterized constructor then we need to write imply obj imply 2 is equal to new imply and then we need to give the parameter here in this case i have passed 1 and james parameter right so if you notice for instantiating an object we need to write the new keyword after that we need to give the type here type in the sense class name 
So new imply we need to write it. If we remove those things before C sharp 9.0, it will give the error. So that's the way how we are going to instantiate an object in C sharp using the new keyword where right hand side type is required, right? These two console dot right line statement, what I'm doing, I'm just printing imply ID and imply name. First statement, it is going to get the value from the obj imply one. That is basically a default constructor. And for default constructor, we are relying on the default value. So ideally for the imply ID, the value should get printed 100 and for imply name, it should get printed Ravi, right? And for the second obj imply2 object, we are passing this value as a parameter 1 and James. So imply ID should have the value of 1 and name should have value of James that should get printed. Okay, let me execute this and see the output. Okay, so output got appear into this console window target type new expression demo in C sub that is coming from the console dot right line statement and this value got printed id is equal to 100 and name is equal to Ravi. So this statement value is coming as a default value what we have set in the imply class and this value is coming from the parameterized constructor in which we have passed the parameter right. So those value got set into the properties and then we are retrieving the properties from the object right and then we are printing in this console window that's what it is coming id is equal to one name is equal to james right okay let me close this now what i will do i will write this statement in c sub 9.0 right so for that i have written in c sub 9.0 and later version right so what i will have to do i just need to remove this imply type over here from the second statement of now it became target type new expression. So it is evident that we are going to create an imply object with this new parenthesis because it is taking the reference from the left hand side. Okay, let me execute this and see the output. Okay, output got appear into this console window. And if you see, we are getting the same output, right? ID is equal to 200, name is equal to Ravi, ID is equal to 1, name is equal to James. The first statement it is coming from the default constructor where we relying on the default value whatever we have set at the imply class right and this value is coming what we are passing into this parameterized constructor while instantiating an object right so this one those value is getting printed over the id is equal to name so that's the beauty of the target type new expression huge case of target type new expressions here we are going to discuss some of the use cases of target type new expression. Basically, we will be seeing over here where all we can use target type new expression in C sharp 9.0 and later version. So first use case is instantiate an object without writing the type. Whenever we are going to create an object or class, we could use this feature when type is known. That's why we write imply obj imply one is equal to new opening and closing parenthesis. Similarly, imply obj imply 2 is equal to new opening and closing parenthesis. In between, we just need to give the parameter because here we are pointing parameterized constructor for creating an object, right? But if you notice, here we have not given the imply keyword, right? So this is the one huge case where we can use target type new expression for instantiating an object without writing the type at the right hand side, right? Okay. Next use case is to initialize properties. For example, before C sub 9.0, we used to write something like this for creating the read only properties public list string fruits, and then we need to get. So basically, it talks about that we are going to create properties with the read only mode, right? And then equal to new list string, and then we need to write the value apple, mango, orange, right? So that's the way we need to write before C sub 9.0 for initializing the properties but in c sharp 9.0 and later version right hand side list string is not required at all that's what i have written no type specified over here right so we write public list string fruits cat is equal to new and then apple mango orange that is one huge case where we can use target type new expression okay next we can use target type new expression to initialize fields so here if you see before c sharp 9.0 we need to write something like this private dictionary a string a string dictionary is equal to new again we need to write dictionary a string a string and then we need to give opening and closing parenthesis right so that's the way we need to write before c sub 9.0 but in c sub 9.0 and later version we can remove dictionary a string a string from the right hand side that's what if you are seeing over here 
private dictionary string string dictionary is equal to new here we have removed this these things which is highlighted in the yellow underline right so those things are not available in the second line of the statement where we have written for c sharp 9.0 and later version last huge case is context based for example here we are going to create a collection for that we are going to see the example collection initializer right so here we are creating the list of implies in which we are adding two imply object right new imply one raj new imply two joe right before c sharp 9.0 we need to write like this but if you notice in this example it is evident that we are going to add imply object only in the list of implies so why to repeat imply type again and again right this repetition got removed in c sharp 9.0 with the help of target type new expression as type is known based on the context that's why context based use case is also a good use case where we can opt target type new expression in c sharp 9.0 and later version and that's what we have written where imply is equal to new list imply and then we just need to write new one raj new to joe we don't need to repeat the imply keyword for the every object right so that's what we have written no type as specific these are the some of the use cases of the target type new expression the guidelines and limitations of c sharp target type new expressions so here we are going to discuss about guidelines and limitations associated with c sharp target type new expression number one intellisense of visual studio should work with new only when there is a single target type number two enum types in context with target type new expression here new will work as new enum works to give the default value but new one will not work as enum types do not have a constructor number 3 pointer types are not allowed number 4 pro new is allowed because it is targeting to system dot exception type number 5 with where target type new expression can't be used because type is not known If you write something like this, where obj imply one is equal to new, we would be getting error like this. There is no target type of new. Now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we saw what target type new expression in C sharp are, how and where we can use it in a program. Then we talked about its guidelines and limitation. Overall, this feature of C sharp helps us to write our code more cleaner and concise. That's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video